<laughs> is, is it clear? Yeah. Um, it's not clear why I got into it, though. I think it was a substitute for making movies, mm-hmm. comic strips. Mm-hmm. They're a lot cheaper than films. Okay. Okay, good. My aspiration has long been to make movies, but comics, you just need a sheet of paper and you can make a movie. Okay, great. Yes. Guys, understood you! Very well! Good. Okay, but uh, do you remember the first time when you started doing it? Like, what was the trigger just to. Okay, what was the first comics maybe? Don't remember? The, the first comics I did at college, when I was going to school at a university, mm-hmm. um, I had this idea that I wanted to do a comic for the school newspaper, mm-hmm. and I wanted my friend to do one right below it, mm-hmm. and I wanted a character from my comic <laughs> to fall into his comic okay. and cause a problem. Okay. And that, those, that was the very first comic mm-hmm. that I did for my school. When I was at college, mm-hmm. it's it does seem symbolic of what the PBF does overall, mm-hmm. of what the Perry Bible Fellowship does overall, because there's always this collision of uh, ideas or styles happening within a single narrative. That it, that is interesting. I don't know where that idea that inspired the PBF came from. Maybe a desire just to cause a collision. When I was at college, feeling uh, insulated and not in touch with everyone, it was a huge university, and I was kind of lonely, and I wanted to create collisions. Okay. And it was, it seemed like the comic page was a good place to do that, like right in front of everybody, try and raise people's eyes, eyebrows as much as possible by putting it right next to the crossword puzzle, which was very popular. Okay. I don't know why. I think it has its roots, uh, has similar roots to why you would throw a tantrum. You just need to get something out. Okay, okay, Claire, thank you. So, the second question. The answer was clear for guys. The second question. Uh, you can find in the United States, in America, lots of comic work on every taste and for, for everyone, almost. So, how you can find your unique style and don't get lost among the others? It's something I think about. Mm-hmm. It's not something I've thought about. Mm-hmm. So you, so you 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 just <laughs> run in you 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 things and you not really consider that like oh I'm gonna create this or that. If you're doing something that you want to do, chances are it's unique to you, mm-hmm. and then you won't have to worry about those questions. Okay, okay, let's see. Ну, короче, парень просто не парится в рисунках, он нравится. the secret of success, I think. Ты поберёт меня с рейдом. Окей. Окей, да. The second question is, uh, what do you think the secret in your work which made you comic work? It's like, for example, uh, it is very popular, not only in, in the United States, but everywhere, like in, in Europe, here in Russia as well. Like, what makes them international? Not a lot of uh, words, is my guess. Okay, okay, I see. There's not a lot of text. So, so you, 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 you're trying to make them simple, and... Yeah, and I also like to make them something that I will enjoy in 40, 50, 1,000 years. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. I see. I would like to make them timeless. I don't want them to be about some event that happened on Friday. Mm-hmm. But some of them still need some cultural background because... Yeah. Okay, okay, I see. I don't, I don't always accomplish that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, пытается сделать их простыми как можно как можно больше 
и пытается сделать те истории, которые можно будет, над которыми смеяться через сто лет. То есть, не, не, они не зацеплены, как правило, ни на какую конкретную дату или какое конкретное событие. И именно поэтому он считает, что как бы, люди везде воспринимают. Хорошо. Окей, uh, okay. so the second is like you've got a lot of humor in your work, but uh, it's sometimes no, not sometimes, but quite often it's a, like a dark, dark side of the humor. So like uh, quite cynical. So uh, do you think there should be some some border that you cannot cross? Some border or some like some some the line which you cannot cross in this, and like, do you think there should be some some place where you can uh, tell uh, say to yourself so now I can stop now because if I if I if I create some picture which which is going to be too insulting or too shocking for people, so is there any like cross line where you? have to say to yourself, no, I better stop now, because that's going to be too offensive or too insulting to some people. If you feel really compelled to do something, I think you should... You, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, 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 okay, 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 that, that, that's clear, but, uh, uh, do you, uh, have you got such experience before, like, did you, did you draw something and, and create maybe some story and you, you just stop yourself and, oh shit, that's too much? Yeah, yeah, um, I've actually, I've actually felt really bad about certain comics before, I've, I've, in a certain mood, created them, mm -hmm. in a certain mood. I think this is great in the moment, <laughs> and then, like, maybe 10 hours later, or the next day, I'll look at it and I'll say, huh, someone could really, someone might have just had this experience, maybe it's not funny to them, mm -hmm. and then I could feel like I don't want to share this. I think I had this experience most acutely with um, a comic with a bunch of bodies mm -hmm. uh, in a plane crash. Mm -hmm. And like all the bodies were around, it's called No Survivors. Mm -hmm. And I felt, gee, there are a bunch of dead bodies all over the place. Um, but I, I showed it to my friends later on, and they laughed. So I, I felt inclined to share it. Okay. So I, I, I don't like to share anything until I know it's good for an audience. Okay. Uh, uh, so in that in that case, extra questions like. Uh, do you often show something to your friends before publishing the website or something? Always. Okay, okay, good. That might make me a coward, but it's, cool. it's what I do. Okay, thank you. Ну, все понятно, да? Да. Не понятно. Короче, история такая, что я спросил, типа, есть ли какая нибудь граница, что там моральные какие-то вещи, когда ты должен остановиться, он говорит, что в принципе нет, иногда ты рисуешь, и ты понимаешь, что уже все полный трэш, и ты зашел слишком далеко. Вот. И иногда он чувствует себя действительно. Да? То есть ему очень нравится, когда он создает, вот. когда проходит 10 часов, он думает, что что-то какой-то перебор. Mm -hmm. вот. И, и все равно это делает, и, и показывает просто друзьям. Mm -hmm. и и друзья нет моральной границы. Да, Друзья смеются. Я, я потом спросил, как часто ты показываешь друзьям. Он, он, ты, эти плохие часы. он все публикует. Он говорит, что друзьям всем нравится, поэтому хорошо. Он говорит, но, он, но он всегда показывает друзьям. Может быть, это его немножко делает как бы глупо, но он все время тестирует. So the next question is, uh, do you have favorite comedy or sitcom? Comedy, uh, film or sitcom? In the past or maybe at the moment? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I can never remember my answers to these questions. Uh, the Simpsons. Simpsons, okay, good. It's very funny. Yeah, there it is. Anything else? The, I've laughed at the British office before. 
Okay. The office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good one. But I don't even like that that much, but I laugh at it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my, um, maybe maybe some film, just just the movie, not not the sitcom. Uh, <laughs> Can you remember some film? What you like the best? Pulp Fiction is very funny. <laughs> okay. Good, thank you. No, короче, вопросы о комедиях он ответил, что Симпсоны, Офис, но но британский, то есть есть два офиса, есть российский. I I think my favorite comedy is. Um, are not are not comedies. Okay. I like, so I like to laugh at dramas. Okay, bring some. Bring some. Tell us some. Pulp fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I like to laugh. I watched Reservoir Dogs the other night. That that had some funny moments. Um <laughs> Schindler's List is not a comedy at all. Yeah, yeah, it's not. But there are jokes in it. Okay. There are jokes in it, and I find that a joke within the context of that seriousness is very funny. Like when he uh, hires all the secretaries, mm -hmm. I find that explosively funny. Okay, okay, let's see. I, 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 please don't misinterpret that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. Но он, он говорит, что иногда в серьезные фильмы какие-то есть моменты, которые действительно ну, очень смешные он находит. Например, он сказал, что вот список Шендлера очень серьезный фильм, но вообще, вообще на самом деле не, 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 не про смех, но там есть какие-то моменты, маленькие моменты, которые, ну, как бы... Не... I like, I like, I like it, it's housed in the context of drama. Окей. Окей, спасибо. Like, uh... Did you guys see Inception? Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah some of us. No joke. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one joke in it. There's only one like joke in it, and I loved it because uh, the rest of it is so serious. I love that moment. Okay. Within the context of that movie, when uh, <clears throat> Joseph Gordon-Levitt tries to um, plant a kiss on the girl, mm -hmm. it's so funny. It's the only moment of humor in the whole film. And I feel like it's all the more funny because of its context. Okay. It's it's such a humorless film, but that moment stands out very powerfully. Okay, thank you. Uh, so the next one. Oh, what do you what do you think or what uh, what do you tell about the people? Uh, who found uh, your comics not uh, funny, or oh, they're not smile or not, not laughing? Um, my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes my mom. <laughs> but but what what do you think about this, those people? <laughs> It makes me sad. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you, I, you, you, I mean, you, it, my friends have a totally different taste. It really just depends on who I want to share the comic with. Okay. If I was making a comic for my mom every week, it would be very different okay. than if I was making a comic for my friends. Okay. So uh, I would, I would, but I just don't. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So does it mean like you think that you comic work uh, actually created more for the young generation rather than for for the middle aged people or probably my age. Okay, I can see. Let's go I don't know what that puts it. Middle aged child. Что для для его возраста сам не воспринимает работу. Ну и другие люди там. How old are you? <laughs> I'm almost thirty. Okay. Almost thirty. <laughs> Very well pronounced Russian. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you know some more Russian words? No. Давайте научим. Okay. Oh, okay. So all these. Comic work, uh, is it your hobby or professional? 
Um, and, and do you have a contract or some some like signed collaboration something? I don't think so. Okay. It's just it's just hobby. So what what do you do for a living then? Like how uh, do you own the money? I don't know. No. <laughs> 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 I, I think the comics. Okay. I sell a lot of artwork, and uh, the book sales are very good. Mm -hmm. The sales of the book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this. They sell these. Okay. But 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 for example, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How much? <laughs> How much? But. but it's, <laughs> but, but for example, how how people got in touch with you to publish this book? Is it like some friends of the friends or some people from the internet? Um, or? A man at Dark Horse just really liked the comic. Dark Horse uh, publishes it. Okay. They do Sin City. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, they did 300. Okay. They just they emailed me. So okay, they just found you, you throw the internet, and they say, "Oh, let's print it, the book." Yeah, and then we just did it. Okay. And then they sent me checks. <laughs> okay. No, короче, вот просто через интернет пошли и запечатали. Ah, so you uh, and actually you like you just enjoy the life and sketch the comics and that's it. So you're not. No, oh, it's very hard. It's very okay, hard. Yes. Life. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So, but uh, this is this is your work generally. You you're not just doing anything else. I I make a lot of films. I'm working on a, a western right now. Mm. That's why I have this. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm filming a western. I um I write a lot of uh, screenplays. Okay. And. I'm working on a TV show mm -hmm. that will hopefully come out at some point. Yeah, look forward to see it. <laughs> You'll love it. Okay. okay. No. It's a dramatic sitcom. Okay. <laughs> ну, короче, занимается, вот, видите, фильмы снимает. Пишет очень много таких коротких пьес, скринплей. Yeah. Сценарий. Да, сценарий. А где можно видеть? Okay. Может, ну, еще ничего не это а, не, не произошло, то есть скоро все будет. А, но другой вопрос, прибыльное ли это дело, может быть, не спрашивать, но уже. Ну, и еще знаешь, что есть у него дело. So, uh, can, can, can you can you tell us someone, uh, somebody who some authors of the comics as well, what you really appreciate or what you really like. Like you, you, your favorite comics uh, creator. Uh, the Far Side? Mm -hmm. <laughs> By Gary Larson? Gary Larson, okay. Uh, anybody the Far else? Side, you guys haven't heard that? No. Yes, it, yes, it, yes. It, seems like, it seems like we've got one person here <laughs> who actually knows that. Also very good is Kelvin and Hobbes. Yeah, yeah, Kelvin, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else? No? I, I, I see stuff on occasion that I like, but I don't, I don't... I can't say for sure that I would cite anything besides okay. The Far Side and Kelvin and Hobbes. Okay, okay, see? Uh... What you what are you usually laughing at? <laughs> it's like just a question here. What are you usually laughing at? Вот такие вопросы это по-моему есть. Maybe on some questions like that. <laughs> I think um, when something chaotic happens in a very controlled situation, okay. I love that. I can I'll laugh forever if I see that. Okay, I see. Какой-то какой момент, когда ситуация очень сильно контролируется, все там по порядку, и вдруг ну, какой-то необычный момент. Все ломается, и все очень смешно и конечно. И, да. Ну, обычный человек. Окей. Он говорит, что ну, самое клевое это там, где кто-то вдруг говорит правду. Было запланировано, что Он говорит, что это очень ему нравится.
for you because once you make advice for yourself you'll you'll probably do much more with it than advice you get from someone else actually if I give you advice it probably is going to stop you from finding your own advice okay. to yourself okay. so I'm going to say no advice okay good answer <laughs> Все понятно? Да. Хорошо. Но он говорит, что я бы не в конце, но заключение такое, что я не буду давать никакого совета, потому что на самом деле вы сами должны выбрать миссию себе и сами начать давать себе советы и рекомендации. И тогда вы достигнете результата. И самое главное, не надо это воспринимать очень серьезно. Потому что если вы слишком концентрируетесь на той задаче, которую вы хотите достигнуть, то вы можете ее завалить. But find the advice that goes from here to here. That find that advice. Okay. А кстати, российских комиксеров он знает? Известного Шефанца. Вы набираете вопросы, потом вы спрашиваете. Там был вопрос про он какое-то время перестал рисовать комиксы. Вот это вот сейчас следующий вопрос. The next question is like there was a rumor that you gonna uh, temporarily stop making any comics. And uh, because you 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 are a little bit afraid of they could could be too too like pop stuff like you know everyone get used to it. So like first question is it truth or not? And the second is like if you if you plan to stop producing the comics when you when are you going to get in back and start doing it again? I stopped doing them weekly for newspapers, but that's that's besides the point. I think if you do anything too regularly, it's almost like it can have the effect that marriage has on sex sometimes. Okay. <laughs> good, good metaphor. <laughs> yes. Ну, короче, он он сказал, что для газет остановил комиксы делать, а типа для себя он продолжает делать, но но не но не так часто, потому что если частый Секс после свадьбы. Вот так вот такое сравнение. Я бы сказал, регулярный секс в браке. Да. Только в некоторых браках, видишь? Окей, tell us a little bit about the stage, what you have to pass through just to create the comics. Like what? What is the first stage, the second stage? Like how? How it oh. usually works? Can I send you a file? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm working on one right now. Ooh. You'll have to promise not to steal it. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, <laughs> um, how do I send a file? <laughs> I think I do believe that. Скажи drag and drop просто. Text. Yeah, yeah. You you can. You drag it onto the window. You can drag and drop to the text window, so you can just like. Позвони. I put I put the text. <laughs> Um, so if you drag and drop to the text window, okay. Скажи, второй способ это распечатать и сунуть в камеру. Was that? А он на бумаге рисует, да, комиксы? Или на компьютере? Oh yeah. Oh, well, I guess it'll upload at some point. You guys have to promise not to steal this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna show it to anyone. But um, I've been uh, I've been sharing it with my friends, and um, the premise is that this donkey puts on a fake unicorn horn so that he can um, help these female unicorns sire a new generation. Okay. And um, it's gone through probably like Tretsky permutations. 
Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but, okay. But, so, but, so it's, it, it seems like you you are creating some sort of collage between the real photos, right? And well, no, the, that, those are just reference photos for me to get okay. inspired by. Okay. But um, what you should look at is the version at the top and the version at the bottom, because the version at the bottom is the, currently the latest. Like his, his horn will fall off in the last frame. Okay. And these and these female unicorns will get kind of wise and be like, hey, <laughs> yeah. this guy is the chosen one. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It's probably not funny yet. Um, I need to draw it up properly, and I need to make things more clear. Like, the, there's a fake horn that has to like fall off. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. the last frame, yeah. and he's got to be like, you know, yeah. who's next? <laughs> <laughs> and like, and they, no, he's no longer fooling them. Okay. By the end. Okay. Uh, but uh, do you often like looking for references as well, just like to see how? Like for example, here you you put some some real photos of the horses. So I just wanted to see how the lips of a donkey move. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just I just wanted to see some reference. I I don't always do that. Like sometimes I usually go in the, like just a book or something at my house. But um. But you also you uh, as I could see there you also create the like a, a very you know rough rough sketching of the storyline from top to bottom. And this, this is, these are actually like, uh, you know, fourth draft. Okay. Like maybe even tenth draft. These little things that you're seeing. Okay. Он создает сразу кейс такой историю от начала до конца с очень быстрыми такими зарисовками композиционными как все. Иногда референсы в качестве лошадей как губы двигаются сделал. А потом все прорисовывает до конца. Сколько времени? Сколько он уже занимается этим? Сколько у него займет это времени? Uh, extra questions like uh, what time did you spend already on on this work and uh, how much time it will take to finish it off? I probably spent 10 hours on it and I'll probably spend like another 50. Wow. Круто. Сколько? 50. 10 процентов. 50 еще. At, uh, could I ask you why, why, for example, it took 10 hours? Because you created the plot and story in the same time? Or, or you'd like to, to find the right composition and right character yeah. and emotion? And when I'm done with this, mm -hmm. it probably won't even have unicorns in it. <laughs> and it, okay. it, it'll have bears in it and it'll, be, and it'll be about something else entirely. Okay, okay, now I see. Что происходит, когда ему самому нравится, а друзья не в восторге или наоборот? Okay. Сейчас uh, перевед. Что он сказал? А что он сказал? Он сказал, что когда через пять часов закончится, может там мишки будут радоваться, они единорожные. А у него идея сначала появляется или что? Идея сначала появилась или он начал? Да, идея. Он начал отрисовать, но в процессе, когда он это дорисует, он уже 10 часов потратил на поиск правильной композиции, там, ну, про единого, кад кадрирование и так далее. И следующие 50 часов, когда он прорисовывается, это может быть в конце концов медведей. Ну, он сказал, что так может так бывает. Окей. О, the next question is a business question. How uh, do you have any knowledge about the uh, comics business in the United States? Like how it's constructed? Uh, how the people find the contracts and uh, could you live on comics? Like, c could you just like make these things like your main job for a living? And is it uh, is there too much competition at the moment? Is it quite competitive market? Like, quite hard to get into or not? I, I don't. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So, I, so I, as as you yeah, as you already told us, there's like people just got in touch with you, so you don't really, you know, it's, it 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 wasn't you who get into the market. It, it was the people from yeah, the yeah market got into me. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which I think can be said for any work of quality. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't want to answer yes or no because a work of quality will always surprise you. 
Actually, it doesn't even need to be a work of quality. If it's something that the world needs, okay. then the world needs it. Сами возьмут, все принесут. Да, даже, даже качественную работу не надо делать. Вот, под него вопрос качества. Сперва сказал, что вопрос качества, потом сказал, что нет. Типа, если людям нужно, они тебя найдут. Делайте вот, вот от сердца, чтобы не нравились все. Окей. Okay. Ох, не был бадминтон. Но это очень хорошо. Я люблю это. еще один человек. Окей. Мы вам дадим несколько Нет, давайте спросим его. Он, он, у него, я просто не, честно говоря, не в курсе, у него это политический комикс есть кинь. Он вообще политику трогает? Да, трогает, все. А он не, не, не сыт ее трогать. Все нормально. Пока нормально сидит. Скажи здорово. Is this one of your students? No, it's, it's one of our designers. А где? Кто что? Так какие просто А где, где, где? Что за точку? Давайте покажите. Вот тут кинуть. Ну тут очень много русской темы. Так у него только она есть. Он типа не в сосед вообще. Просто Пусть картинки позовет. Нет. Че? Вы ему по картинке весь сайт жгу находить показать. So here's the website and lots of lots of topics about Russia and on Russian events, but you can find some about worldwide events as well. Wow, and he he mostly uses films to do yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just movie posters? Yes, but uh, he changed the characters there to some mm -hmm. fashion uh, fashion stars or politics or celebrities or something like this. Well known. Ну чего еще? Так мне интересно, он политический комикс или что-то такое? The question from the audience: How do you feel uh, when you uh, create some? Uh, Political stuff like, do you worry a bit when you create in some something provocative, or you feel, oh, that's okay. Because then you, I feel like, then you can't make something that everyone enjoys. It's automatic. You cut your audience already in half. It's a little bit of a, a bummer to me. If you say something against someone, mm -hmm. you can't make them laugh. Okay. Like if I, if I make something that says George Bush is an idiot, George Bush will never laugh at it. Okay. That's kind of sad. <laughs> yes, sir. So thank you for the answer. For sure. Anything else? So, if you have any other work with the scholarly level of cynicism that he enjoys. Okay, uh, could you bring us or maybe send us a link to the most cynical comic? What you've done so far? Hmm. <laughs> Probably. Yes. Could it, it could take me a moment to find it. Yeah. Um. Cynical? <laughs> I don't know if I do cynical. Папа не опубликованный сериал. I think I found one that'll pass for you. You could interpret that to be about love itself. Нажми Ctrl и колесико прокрути, он приблизится. О, да, да. Видно, что? Да, это немного цинично, я думаю. И мышкой курсором двинь. Ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-ха-
Скажи, что ты есть драма, Это было то фьючер. Контрол. Это real драма. Окей, okay, I think uh, we are running out of the questions, so if you have some question to ask, maybe. Mm. <laughs> 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 I, you guys are like super kids. Are these the smartest kids in Russia? <laughs> Not really. I think, I think I think we are some sort of like uh, Hogwarts. Well, uh, well, some sort of exception from 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 other guys in Russia because, like, uh, Artem Lebedev himself wants to make this place like the most un-Russian company in Russia. So, uh, uh, but uh, in the same time, he connected the uh, talented people from. Every town, every city. Мы в дальней части зоопарка. It's an analog his dream. It's like uh, I'd like to get the talented designer or illustrator or someone else from every single city of Russia. So here we got the guys from Vladivostok, Moscow, Khabarovsk, Kaliningrad, like all the Russia represented in studio. Like a zoo. Zoo model. <laughs> Yes. I want to see who's all in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we also we also we also got here in the room a little bit of Germany and a little bit of France. Can you go like this with the camera so I can see everyone? <laughs> I don't like that some people are hiding. <laughs> wow. That's a good result. Hey. <laughs> I wouldn't have known that you guys were there. <laughs> Надо было сразу показать. Вау! Не всяком. Wonderful class! Мы подумали, что нас 15 человек всего. Пять. But uh, the age of, of guys in the studio are also very different. So we've got some very young kids, like, I think 15 years old, maybe, in the studio. Mm-hmm. Or who mm-hmm. used to work in the studio. In this age, but we also quite, we also have a quite old one, like 40 years, something. So the age is very different. But the it's a beautiful bouquet. <laughs> so I guess it's it's a big thank you now for you for your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for answering the questions. Ah, oh, uh, I got the last question from myself. What is the little tiny portrait? which is hiding behind you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, the, shining. the Shining. Okay. Uh, have you seen The Shining? No. Yes. Yes. Seems like... Yeah. 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 What are the and why, why, why did you put it on the wall? I, just, I love that movie. I think mean, it's a great film. Okay. Okay. So, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Make, make good things. Yeah, thank you. We will. Bye. I'll, I'll see you. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.